Hi, my name is Ari. I am an automation engineer here at Loop, and today I'm going to talk about the git ignore file, how to keep your repo organized and also secure. Starting off here, I have just a really kind of a toy example of a repo I threw together. We have a few Python files, and we also have some log.csv files. Basically, when I go to make a commit now, I can say, you know, git status, and these are all new files, so git is going to see all of these as new files that I've added to this repo, and it's going to want to commit all of them. This is kind of a problem though, because I don't necessarily want to always commit every file that's in my working directory. You can see here we have hello world py, we have logger py, and my file py. So those are Python files I've written. I probably want to commit those. But these log.csvs, I don't really often care about making sure that all my logs are backed up in the cloud every single time. It could be that every time I'm running this script, it generates a really long log. We don't really care about the diff, and it's just something that we care about for local use. The way we can get around this is with a .git ignore file. So this is a file that you can write, and you just create you know, dot git ignore. And what you can do is you can specify files that you don't want git to track, that you don't want it to keep track of. So here you can see a few different ways that we can get rid of keeping track of these log files. I can just do this first line called logs. And basically what this is going to do is now git is going to ignore everything in the logs folder. So you can see I have a folder here called logs. I can move all of these files into it. I can do git status. And now it only sees the Python files. A couple other ways we can do that on the git ignore. You can have star.csv. So basically what this does, the star will match any string of characters and then .csv. So what this does is it's going to ignore any file that ends in .csv. The other one I have here is log star. And what this is going to do is anything that starts with log is going to get matched and therefore ignored. It doesn't care about the one, two, three, .csv, whatever. It's just going to ignore anything that starts with log. And in this toy example I had, it seemed like it was not that big a deal because there were only a few files. But you can imagine if you had a much bigger project, you could have many, many different files that are getting added. Another really important factor is when you go to get your code reviewed, assuming you're working on a team, if you send someone a pull request and they open it up and it has 350 changed files, you know, where do they even start, right? It's really annoying to kind of have someone ask you to look through so many files when so many of them are just something you don't care about. That's why we always have a good git ignore, and that's why you should too. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more, go to shipin6.team.